Well, hello there. Well, hello there. How are you doing at this fine evening? You're doing amazing? Perfect. The thing is, we don't have much time left, so you're like a little bit late. But um, it doesn't matter that much. You are the person I spoke to on the phone, right? You are? Okay, yes. So, I got some books that were in your genre. And um, let's see, and maybe you can um, rent them out. Mm -hmm. Be sure to bring them back in time, otherwise you will have to... You will have to pay a fee for the library. Mm -hmm. Okay. First up, which I was reading right now. Um, it's a pretty good book. Mm -hmm. Whenever I read this, I feel so like smart and I want to start like playing chess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is um, The Intelligent Investor by um, Benjamin Graham. This is the classic text on value investing. Featuring a new foreword from John C. Bago, the founder of Vanguard Group. I have a feeling this, um, this explains to you like, the fundamentals of investing, what to look out for, not to fall for the scams. You have fallen for crypto scams? <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, it's no fun. No, 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 no. This one? Okay. Yeah, we have to make sure that you don't fall for any scams anymore. Next up is a book I've read like a couple of weeks ago fully. It's Think and Grow Rich by uh, Napoleon Hill. Basically, it's about like um, maybe like 500 people or maybe thousands, I don't know, um, that he likes kind of interviews. He like, it's like a story way. He gets stories from those people, how they got rich and stuff. I adore it, yes. Are you interested in renting this one? Yes. Don't forget, you can only rent five books at a time. Mm -hmm. Yes, only five. Next up is for the people who have trouble making friends or communicating. The fine art, small talk. To be honest, it has helped me a lot. I'm like a bit, as you can say, out of the ordinary, a bit of a nerd. I have autism, mm -hmm. so I find it hard to, to like talk to people and stuff, connect with them. This book has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Did it get me a girlfriend? No, not yet, no. <clears throat> yeah, okay. But no, this um, helped me like in the, like, the workplace. Talk to people, make friends with colleagues, you know. Even though your co-workers are mostly 60-year-old people. Yeah, that's life. Next up, we have... This one is one you, you specifically asked for, right? This is the Kansai's 84 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. I'm sure I don't need to read this out for you because, you know, you ask for it. Keep others in suspense. Cultivate the air. Interesting. So now you have, wait, are, were you interested in this one? Not really? Okay. You have already have three books. Next up is The Subtle Art of... Um, this little art of not giving a fuck. <clears throat> Bleep or YouTube might demonetize. I hope not. This is my only income. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is a subtle art of not giving a, f 
a bleep. A counterintuitive approach to living a good life by Mark Manson. This is this house for people who like care too much about what other people think, what they wear or like how they look. They care too much about their opinion and then it stops like from developing your personality. You want this one? Yes, you struggle with it? I get that, me too. Next up is a big one. Atomic Havocs. It's a pretty big book. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, it says, Tiny changes, remarkable results. An easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. I haven't read it yet, but maybe... Maybe I should read this one. Alright, now I'm like in my self-love um, space and like trying to build myself up, being better. So, I need to read this one as well. So no, you can't uh, borrow it because I'm gonna read this, okay? Oh, sorry man. Other time, other time. Next up is the culture map. Decoding how people think, lead and get things done across cultures. Mm-hmm. I have genuinely no idea what this is about, but it says whether you are sitting at a desk in Boston or eating at a restaurant in Beijing, communicating across cultures is the great challenge of the global economy. Oh, are you interested? No, I understand it. Next up we have also one you recommended. This is such a famous book. It is 20 years as the number one personal finance book of all time. And I feel like it was stayed that way for a long time. It's that for that, it helps you out a lot. And um, it tells like fun stories, you know. Can I see like, if there's like drawings? There's a bit of drawings like this. Fun, it's fun ones. Interesting this one? Yes, right? Okay. Lastly, this last one. The Lean Startup. Mm -hmm. Wait, my fingers. <laughs> the Lean Startup. How today's entrepreneurs use continuous innovation to create radically successful businesses. Are you interested in like business and stuff like that? You are? And I couldn't recommend this book more than to other people. Like, trust me. This book will make your business like um, Scrub Daddy. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. All right. Thank you so much. Um, please forget. Don't forget. Bring these books back in four weeks. If you haven't read them all, please ask for an extension for another three weeks, okay? If you don't bring them back, you will have a fee. And trust me, you don't want a fee because it's a bit expensive, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.